Today we're going to be making oyster flavored chicken wings. We're going to start off by boiling the wings. We're going to do this with some chicken stock. Alright, so now I'm just going to add in the water, which is just one box of water. Alright guys, I'm going to add about two or so pounds of whole chicken wings. You can cut them up if you want. Um, it's up to you. I like to keep them whole. So we're just going to put them into the stock. And yeah, it's cold, which is fine. You don't have to heat the water up first. We're going to let the uh, broth or the water come up to a boil. And then we'll boil this for approximately five minutes. And then we're going to take them out and strain them. And then we will continue onward. So we'll be right back. Alright guys, so here are the chicken wings. I've taken them out of the broth. Put them into, you know, a colander. Just to let the excess liquid drain off. And the heat that they're producing will help dry the skin out. Alright guys, so now I've got my wok out. i got some oil into it, some olive oil. And I have my chicken wings. And we are just going to gently fry up our chicken wings for just a few moments. And then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. Alright guys, so I've got all the chicken wings in. Tossed them around a couple of times. Now we can go ahead and start adding our other ingredients. I have got about one third cup of soy sauce. About... Uh, three tablespoons of brown sugar and two tablespoons of regular honey. Some oyster sauce, flavored sauce. We're going to add in about three tablespoons. One, two, add in three. some sesame seed oil. Just a couple of drops. Just to add a little bit of flavor. That's so maybe half a teaspoon. And we're going to toss this around and get everything coated. And continue to cook this for probably about 10 or so minutes. So we'll be back at that time. Alright guys, so it's been cooking for about 5 minutes. And I realized I need to go ahead and add the hoisin sauce. This again, I'm just eyeing it. Maybe about two tablespoons of the hoisin. If you can get dark soy sauce, then you can leave out the hoisin sauce and just use dark soy sauce. Okay guys, so it's been cooking a total of 10 minutes or so. You really want to just keep stirring and you see the sauce. Cook it for as long as it takes to get the sauce the thickness that you would like. And mine looks about done. Because I want a nice glaze to go on my oyster flavored chicken wings. And before I forget, we're going to add the rest, well not the rest of, we're going to add about a teaspoon of garlic to this. Almost forgot. So we'll stir that in. This is going to thicken up when it sits to cool off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the burner off and just let this sit. And I will be back when I plate it. Alright guys, here's our oyster flavored chicken wings. I hope you give the recipe a try and I hope you enjoy them. Please subscribe, rate, and leave any questions or comments down below.